So begins the Roaring Twenties. <laughs> Prepare for your demise, O Will. You know, the way artists draw themselves is so funny. Like, we all make ourselves look like exhausted gremlins, and then there's fucking Elmer Butch Hartman. Who managed to make his self-insert OC look like a complete and total douchebag. Like, look at this. I literally have never seen a man be so self-absorbed. OP, it gets worse. There's an actual character in the Fairly Odd Parents that's an actual caricature of Butch Hartman and voiced by him. Named Dr. Rip Studwell. And his defining character trait is being hot. Yo, pretty sure he changed his icon because of this post specifically. Good! Can a man have confidence, Tumblr user Typhlosion? Hell no! I feel like this is an online equivalent to playing with a Ouija board and the demon fucking answering. Holy shit! Corn farmer update day 800. Corn everywhere. Have you tried eating it? Corn farmer update day 801. Found a new use for corn. What were you using the corn for before, Pocket Joe? What, 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 what was he using it for? My sister just tried to ask me if I wanted to go to bed, but instead it came out, Do you need to use the sleep? And then she just kind of looked really horrified at herself and whispered, Maybe I need to use the sleep. And now JoJo friends looking for a JoJo reference. Oh god, they're gonna do it, they're gonna do it, they're gonna do it. Son of a- Ladies and gents and nons, I have a movie idea for you. It's called Cars Reboot, and the style of the movie Cats. And all the cars are just humans walking around naked, but with a metallic sheen. And they have wheels at the end of their limbs. Their faces are human faces, but with car headlights instead of eyes. Sees my own post on my desk. Hey, it's that pink fucker again. Please, please leave my house. This filled with so much pink slime. Oh, shit, free Slurpee. No, don't drink the code. Get the curly straws. No straws. Stop poking me. Anyone else in a mood to pull off a huge heist? Where and when? All right, I don't want to give away too many details on here, but by the end of it, we will all be rich and Woody Allen will be dead. I'll send you word via Carrier Swan when the time is right. You know, I would be happy with Woody Allen's demise, but riches are always welcome too. Uh, also, please send a carrier pigeon to warn me the swan is coming so I don't mistake it for a goose and freak out. I don't have any spare pigeons available, but I've sent a rat and pigeon costume to warn you of the swan. Godspeed. You son of a bitch! I'm in! You know, I feel sorry for Netflix era kids. They will never know the high stakes adrenaline of running to the bathroom, fridge, bedroom in a single ad break with the beckoning call of a sibling screaming, It's back on! To send you hurtling over furniture to get back in time. Couldn't you just pause it? Oh. Oh, my sweet summer child. No. Hey, so if you paint your fingertips with clear nail polish, you won't leave fingerprints. Oh, shoot. This is actually really helpful information. Thank you. Helpful for what exactly? Murder? Kind of a given here. Well, you're dark. God is obviously referring to handling devices or screens. This is a great way to not leave prints all over your screen. I was 100% referring to murder, but that that's pretty handy too. All right. I want Terry Crews and Vin Diesel to do a buddy cop movie where they're both secret nerds, but they don't want the other to know. Like Vin Diesel plays D&D &D on weekends and Terry likes to create epic crossover fan art. Somehow, they have to work undercover at Comic-Con, and for whatever reason, I need Daniel Radcliffe to be the villain. And i also like to add, not a character played by Daniel Radcliffe. Daniel Radcliffe appearing as himself. Wait! No! No, 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 no! Wait! I want Elijah Wood to play Daniel Radcliffe. Wait, no, this gets better, okay. Elijah Wood plays Daniel Radcliffe, and his evil sidekick is Elijah Wood, <laughs> played by Daniel Radcliffe. I want this movie so badly now. No Greek god is inherently and wholly good or bad, because they're all flawed and imperfect in some way, with different facets of personality and character to serve as the reflection of society and human nature itself. Oh, except for Zeus. He was straight up an absolute bastard. Yeah, fuck Zeus! No! Do not fuck Zeus! It's too late. Zeus already got him. So my pre -cal teacher got kicked out of the movies once for yelling out diving scores during Titanic because people jumped off the boat. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's fucking hilarious.
Guess who just found out the difference between wax paper and parchment paper the hard way? Well, what's the difference? Well, one you can use in the oven safely, and the other you can also use in the oven if the thing you're trying to make happens to be fire. Wow. Today I learned the Han Dynasty was founded by a sheriff who was transporting convicts when several escaped. Knowing the punishment for this was death, he freed the rest and organized many into a rebel band, eventually going on to help overthrow the ruling Qin Dynasty and to install himself as emperor. Talk about rolling with it. Yo, you ever fuck up so badly at your job you decide the only way to make up for it is to overthrow the government? Little did he know, that sheriff went on to inspire the concept of Romance the Three Kingdoms and 200,000 Dynasty Warrior games along with it. Yeah, I just thought I'd let you know that a Rudolph X Santa fanfic exists on AO3. Boy, I read the Dobby X Sorting Hat fic in its entirety. There is no pain left for me to experience. The what? Someone who doesn't watch baseball, please explain this picture. Oh, it's simple. It's nap time. The actual answer is just as funny. <laughs> bees. Just bees. Okay, seriously though, why do wizards celebrate Christmas other than JK Rowling is Christian? What reason do literal wizards have to celebrate a muggle god whose miracles are mostly within the limits of what wizards can normally do anyway? I love that the responses on this post basically boil down to, it's fun, muggleborns, and my personal favorite, Jesus was a wizard. Alright, here's a hot take. Gift wrap is dumb. 95% of the time you can just hand someone the thing and accomplish the same task. Society has conditioned us to love wrapping shit up for no reason, probably by the gift wrap industry people. All right, that's good, that's good. Here's a counterpoint. Monkey Instinct says uncovering secret bounty from colorful shell good as fuck. Baby Jesus is a chicken wing. I hate to ask, but please explain. So tender and mild. Fuck!